When drilling an oil or gas well, the drilling fluid transports the formation drilled to the surface. If these solids remain in the drilling fluid, they will affect all areas of the drilling operation as they are continually ground down into smaller particles. The rate of penetration will be reduced, mechanical parts in the circulating system will weigh at a faster rate, treatment costs will be increased due to increased surface area of, of the solid particles, mud weights may increase leading to higher pressures and loss circulation, filter cake thickness may also increase leading to stuck pipe and many other negative effects on the drilling operations may occur. Therefore, these solids need to be separated from the drilling fluid. In order to separate the solids from the fluid, various pieces of mechanical equipment are utilized. The objectives of solids control are to reduce the drilling fluid maintenance cost by reducing the level of undesirable solids. Other important factors to consider are the effect the solids content and solid size have on the overall drilling performance, such as ROP and wireline logging, for example, but last and not least, the effect the solids content, type and size have on the reservoir. In the drilling fluid, there are good solids and bad solids. Good solids would be the ones that are specifically added to the fluid for a particular function such as weight material and bridging agents. State-of-the-art solids control equipment includes various new and improved versions of the original equipment, first introduced into the oil industry many years ago. Although much more efficient and robust today, the technology has changed little over the past few decades. The shale shaker remains the primary solids control equipment used during drilling operations. However, with the installation of scalping shakers upstream from the main shale shakers, the performance of solids removal downstream has been greatly improved. The secondary solids removal equipment are hydrocyclones. The basic operating principle of this device involves the centrifugal force brought about by the high velocity of the drilling fluid spinning in the cone forcing the larger and heavier solids to settle outward toward the cyclone wall and downward toward the underflow solids discharge orifice. Most rigs also have at least one decanting centrifuge installed for the attempted removal of near colloidal sized particles. Centrifuges come in different bowl sizes and g-force levels. In order to evaluate the removal capabilities of the various pieces of mechanical treating equipment, one should remember how solids are classified according to size. Here we see that large drill solids are classified as anything larger than 440 microns. Sand is classified from 74 to 440 micron size. Silt from 2 to 74 micron size. Clay from 0.5 to 2 micron size and colloidals anything less than 0.5 micron size. There are four basic methods of solids control. Mechanical treatment, chemical treatment, dilution of the mud with water and the dump and dilute method where used mud is discarded and new mud is mixed and added to the system. All of the above with the exception of mechanical treatment incur higher costs. Mechanical treatment is a method of mechanically removing solids using shale shakers or hydrocyclones. Example, desanders and desilters. It is important to realize the limitation of each piece of equipment. These limitations are as follows. The scalping shaker will remove 440 microns or larger. The fine mesh shale shaker will remove 74 microns or larger. The desanders will remove 100 microns or larger. The desilters from the 20 to 50 micron range and larger. Centrifuges dependent upon the bowl size and g-force will generally remove anything, nothing less than 15 microns. Correctly implemented, each piece of mechanical equipment is effective only within a certain particle size range. Utilizing all or a combination of the above equipment throughout the drilling operations would give maximum benefits and result in a cost-effective method to control the buildup of solids and fines.